The loss of a family member to a violent crime is likely the most traumatic event that a human can go through in their lifetime. That trauma is made even worse when the person responsible is not held accountable for their actions. I'm District Attorney Vern Pearson, and what you're about to see is a reenactment of a cold case homicide. After watching it, if you feel you may have any information which might lead to solving this cold case homicide, we strongly encourage you to call. Welcome to the El Dorado County District Attorney's Office Cold Case Homicide Episodes. I'm Investigator Dave Stevenson. For each month, we'll be featuring one of our over 60 cold case homicides and asking you, the viewer, to help us solve a cold case homicide. Last month, we featured the disappearance and murder of Bryn Rainey, a South Lake Tahoe resident. Bryn's lifeless body was found in a makeshift shallow grave at the South Lake Tahoe State Line Stables. Thanks to you and your willingness to get involved, our cold case homicide detectives continue to work diligently tracking down every new lead and evidence to bring closure for Bryn and her family. This month's cold case homicide involves the needless shooting death of a retired law enforcement officer and prominent figure in El Dorado County. June 2nd, 1986 started out as another quiet day in the small rural town of Rescue, California. Celebrations were planned for Vern Wing's birthday, who had just turned 49 years old that day. His home was on the Wing family land and adjacent to his parents, Haley and Bernice Wing. The Wing family owned several adjoining properties and were a very close-knit family. Vern and his wife had left for the day, but like a lot of families in the country, they all looked out for each other. That early afternoon, Vern's mom had noticed a strange small to mid-sized bluish car with a primer door in her son's driveway. Haley, the ever so diligent father and retired law enforcement officer, drove over to Vern's house to investigate. As Bernice watched from her backyard, 76-year-old Haley Hudson Wing was gunned down on his own son's birthday. In that instant, lives were shattered and the community would never be the same. Over the years, there's been many theories and possible scenarios of what exactly happened. But one thing is for sure, someone is keeping a secret. And the time is now to clear your conscience and come forward with the information needed to solve a cold case homicide. And remember, Friends and family never forget, and neither should we.